time of the week where all of the new content well it's that time of the week and that time of the month where uh, all the new content drops um we've got weekly new content monthly new content and then content 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 no, i'm joking there's actually not that much to get through so bulk recording in one night hopefully so i have time to do daily live videos as well as the back to beginner guide videos that i still need to i've got friends helping me with tier list videos that i haven't been able to get around to, to do you know what that's my problem don't worry we're gonna do this record buster basically right now it's otal <clears throat> doesn't really matter what element he is i think he's wind to be fair which means if you've got off the top of my head i can't really think of anyone that has 35 percent wind resistance but well not that would be useful in this record buster but I'm, I'm rambling uh okay so this is the team that i'm taking the just before we get into anything else the reason this is the team is because he is weak to magic all of the elements are neutral but he has 50 percent physical resistance that's a that's a ball ache. That's what that is. Magic record busters suck because there's it's very rarely you're gonna have a competent full set magic team of the same element. Hence the uh, mismatch of my team. Anyway, let's go over the team first. Harahime with the anniversary Hestia. By now you should know what Harahime does, so I'm not really gonna explain that. Hestia, however, lowers strength and magic attack by 15%. And we're against Otal now. I shouldn't even really need to tell you what he does. You should understand based on the character. He slaps, man. He slaps. <laughs> uh, she so she lowers strength and magic by 15%. And increases allies counter rate by 8%. Which is also a must have when you're running uh, Haruhime on the front line. I probably don't need to run Haruhime on the front line. But I haven't. Um, I always do this. I always show you guys how i'm running and then just progress from there so i'm not like keeping stuff to myself if you want help pop into my discord and myself or members will be glad to help you but this is usually what i do with these videos i find a team that works or it gets a decent score and then just work up from there if i can but in the second space we have goblin slayer for the 20 percent aoe and single target debuff debuff because this otile removes buffs uh so yeah goblin slayer for the 20 percent single target and aoe debuff on him i have anniversary asfi who increases single target damage by 15 percent uh and increases decks of all allies by 10 percent which is going to be clutch for rivera because i need her to crit needs to crit um, next to him i have lira um lira's here because she is an mlb magic user who has her own element debuff and her own magic buff so He's sort of a bit self-sufficient, even if she doesn't have a super modifier single target attack. That's a mouthful, I dare you say it five times real fast. On her, I have uh, Demeter. Demeter's here for the decrease in magic resistance. She also does something else. I just, I always forget. I think, is it PS or N or N? I'm clicking on OBS. I always do it. You know what's happened? It's basically one of my adapters broke, so I'm running on a single monitor right now, and it's a real pain in the butt. Uh... Magic was it uh, increases lowers crit and magic resist. That's why we need that crit rate reduction uh, and self crit rate reduction. They're not really too helpful on Lyra. I mean, crits are always helpful. I'm just mean specifically having a self crit buff on Lyra. Too much. Um, <laughs> and then next to her, we have the MVP of the team, the unit that I've had for so long. I knew she was capable of so much, but I was just lacking something for my account to really show what she can do. The Anniversary Reveria, and on her I have the General Paul Freya to increase Strength, Magic, Physical Resist, and Magic Resist by 20%. She also has a 100% ailment resistance, which means I can run a Breastplate on the Reveria. Coming over to the second sack, and the entire reason I'm really, really excited now, because I have a competent single target uh, water unit. I want to say water team. <laughs> this is water unit. Uh, I did the first step on the eyes banner and it was one in three chance I, I only wanted one copy of eyes and that's who i got because she lowers water resistance by 35 percent and lowers guard rate by 30 percent so in this that's going to be much lowering guard rate always helps with the increase the amount of damage uh and do uh because if they guard half the damage anyway on her i have the hephaestus hephaestus increases magic fire and water damage uh magic by 10 percent fire and water by 15 percent 
uh, or is it the other way around? It's one of those. <laughs> uh, and then finally, I have uh, Fina. Fina because she is the closest and hardest hitting, or she's the hardest hitting magic user that is closest to being MLB. I have uh, Elfie, but she didn't fit into this team. Like her damage output just wasn't on the same level as Fina, so I left her off. Um, Fina's here also because her skill one reduces all incoming damage, AOE, and single target by 20%. And that's kind of a must-have. Otal's going to hit hard no matter what. So, speaking of Otal, he will seal you. You are going to need seal anklets unless you have a an assist that well completely nullifies that. If you have the assist, the free star, uh, I don't know what assist does it, actually. I've always had the anklets. But there is free star assist. The infograph is actually in the guide section on my Discord. So if you need any of that information, my guide section is packed with info that may help you um so seal anklets unless you have a 100 percent ailment resist assist uh and and that's it i mean like, i have seal anklets on pretty much everyone i've got two revolving anklets on the goblin slayer and the eyes and riveria has a breastplate because Freya gives ailment resist okay so before we jump into it just a quick overlook let me just um <clears throat> turn it on <laughs> We're going to have a look at the rotations. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. If you do want to have a look at it real quick, pause the video, look at it for yourself, screenshot, do whatever. There is a copy of this in my guide section of my Discord. So again, another reason to join the Discord if you weren't already. It's active and has readily available information that can help anybody. Anyway, so the only real information we want to look at here, the most important information to take away rather, uh, is when it says stun on here, but this as realize at the top uh, this is just the rotation doesn't change the ailment ch the ailment changes every time the tile comes around again uh so turns 3 7 11 14 and 15 he will try and stun you or sorry in this case seal you uh but the more important one here is at the end of turn 4 beginning of turn 5 8 and 9 and then 12 and 13 he will sa uh between four and five and eight and nine, he will remove all of your buffs. You need to reapply them. Uh, 12 and 13, no buff removal. So you're good to keep going. Anyway, guys, so that's been enough talking. I think, yep, we're coming up eight minutes. I tried to make it as clear as possible without making it too long. I always sort of fail at that. But anyway, let's get into the run, shall we? Hopefully, auto is not on. I think it might be because I was grinding the event. Yeah, it is. Oh, blue stack sucks so bad. It always eats like a face. I've got 32 gigs worth of RAM and it still just chews through it. Uh, I might have to look at the settings. Anyway, so turn one, we're going to use Arcanate because getting the debuffs on as early as possible is always going to be beneficial because he doesn't remove debuffs. Uh, and then we're going to just like buff Reveria. I love Reveria so much. The fact that she gives herself 100% water damage as well as 100% SA gauge charge is so great right. so 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 so, so. <laughs> um, okay so I I have done a few runs here and um, I won't lie this Otal every time I run it seems to hate Zero. like hate with a passion there'll be turns where he like hits her only her three times in a row now i will say before we get too into it you should be paying attention see what i'm talking about see what i'm talking about i think he doesn't like flat chested dollies <laughs> no i'm joking um might not be to be fair um <laughs> i will say uh i'm not going over in crazy um detail what my rotations are because you should be able to just follow along because i'm not actually going that fast but the idea is this is difficulty six and obviously if you, you can't recreate this team like i can't recreate the teams that all of the higher scoring people we're talking like five six hundred million uh score people are doing which is why i have such a mismatched team of magic users so you have to try and sort of emulate that theme where having self-sufficient magic damage dealers are uh, is probably the best way to go but interrupt it. okay so we're on the damage skills now for Lyra and Riveria. Do I need to shoot her? I, no, but I'm gonna, sh wait, let me check debuffs. 
Let's always think, because I don't write down my rotations. I really should. Uh, no, we're going to Yasuga because otherwise he loses the Earth Resistance debuff, and I don't want that. There we go. Oh, yeah, I remember now. No, they're, they're... Because uh, Lyra's debuff has a fast modifier on it, plus Lyra's faster than Hari. Anyway, always a problem. Now, I'm going to Yasuga again because next, next turn I need the Sheikah. Because at the end of this turn, he's actually going to remove every single buff we have. So there is no point. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reapply um, Lyra's uh, skill one. Brain fart. Uh, skill one just to reapply those additional actions. Because I don't think he removes those. Uh, and then damage skill. But actually, no, we're not. It's turn four. He doesn't remove debuffs. Lyra is here for the SA because she has a 50% <laughs> magic resist debuff. Oh, my God. I can't believe I nearly forgot that. That would have been just ruined this whole video. Um... <laughs> yeah, so let's do that. I will show you um, Otal's resistances, like buffs and, and debuffs in a second, and his overall stats, just to give you an idea of what I'm working with. Um, the fact that I can use Lyra or, and Riveria is pretty cool, because I know a lot of people are going to have them, what with them being anniversary units, and what with them being on the first stage of anniversary um, where everyone was just so hard to pull and everything. I mean, to be fair, they we, we earned more than enough Iris to summon on everything. It's just whether you got lucky enough. Um, okay, so I'm going to reapply the additionals because, as you can see, all of the buffs are gone. We need to reapply everything. By the way, I know um, you must be wondering why I'm not running Lene when that would probably be really beneficial. Um... I'm not running Lina because Riveria increases her SA gauge charge by 100%. And if I ran Lina turn 1, she would only give 33% to everyone on the front line, which is 99% anyway. So it basically balances out. If anything, I'm getting 3% if you want to split hairs. Um, where are we? Our magic resistance. So it's on 3 turns. I don't have to... I don't have to Yasuga to extend those buffs just yet. We're just going to reapply the defensive buff. Additionals, SA and water damage, and then go for it. I mean, you can like I don't know. Before I go to the next turn, I will. I'm sorry, I forgot that I wanted. I said I wanted to show you this. Okay, so with the Lyra SA, that's uh, minus 115% magic damage. The most, the most you can debuff this is minus 35% with uh, Kaguya. I'm not sure if there is another unit that lowers physical resistance by 35%. But even then, that's not enough. <laughs> so basically my entire team consists of magic users and the I mean obviously, admittedly, I would rather have um an additional element debuff there, but that's just asking too much um to try and shift around. I'd end up losing too many assists that I really don't want to lose. Okay, so all of the uh appropriate buffs except for skill 2 and uh, Riveria's skill 3 and that should be it yeah, cool, that is. and then next turn I can go back I think, did I use Suga? I think that's Sheikah but oh, I used Suga didn't I? I need to check uh, I weren't paying attention did Lyra go before Haruhime? no she did not because her magic buff this is the only problem I'm having is that Lyra is so much faster than Haruhime. Especially with the slows applied as well that... Just... No, sorry. Wait, no. I might have said that backwards. You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's just go on with the run. So, next turn. We're now on the damaging skills. Um, I need to use Yasuga, so... Wait. No, I don't. Actually, I can Sheikah. It's fine. Uh, because... It's we're only losing... I, I, it's it's about managing MP over keeping a 50% buff that we're going to lose in a turn anyway. So we're going to go with that. Yeah, we're, we're going to give up the buff. Oh my god, my nose. My nose is itchy. <laughs> Riveria is just such an impressive unit. What a beast. Hey, what a beast. <laughs> Um, okay, so he's going to SA this turn, and Lyra needs to reapply her additionals. So that's what we're going to go with. 
I'm going to tell you right now, there is a strong possibility because this team, with Lyra not being Max Hero Ascended, someone dies. At least one person dies every time I run. But this is, I'm just showing you the team that I'm currently using uh, because I don't have a full set. Like, ideally, I would have preferred to run the this and this Reveria and the Fire Reveria alongside the um, Lyra instead of the Fina. But then I'd lose the 20% damage reduction from from Fina, which is uh, which is a problem, obviously. Where are we? On turn nine. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. I already said he's no longer going to remove our buffs after this. So why not just SA or Karahime? That's because um, it's a waste of an opportunity. I'd rather reapply these buffs now. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure I don't need to reapply the magic. No, there's no point reapplying that magic buff at all. We're going to go straight to skill three. Uh, the main one here we want to do is, is Reverius skill 1. That's why we're delaying Haruhime's SA for one turn. Because we need that skill 1. She has the 100% SA gauge charge as well as... Um... Oh, damn it. <laughs> I remembered. I got there. Um, we're going to look at these debuffs just to make sure we're not making any mistakes. No, he's cool. Three turns is the shortest. So we can get away with doing this. Because then... What we're going to do next turn is we're going to take this opportunity to double SA with Parahime and Reveria. That means that Parahime, I mean, sorry, Reveria's SA gets an additional 20% damage because of the combo. This is where we're going. I mean, the scariest turn is coming up soon anyway. Uh, it's the turn 12 to 13 SA, it's really the defining moment of the run. If you really want a perfect run, it's going to be a case of if you get all the way to there and then what someone like one unit dies, your run is completely shafted. And that's what's been happening to me. I've had someone die on me because he crit or pen. When if he didn't, everyone would be fine. Okay, so watch this damage. Finally using Reveria with a, like I finally have a unit that lowers water resistance and the result is amazing. It's increased her damage so much. I just hope she crits. <laughs> please crit. Please, 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 please. It crit. You saw that, right? 2.1 million damage. Like, that's outrageous. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I know there are other units that hit harder, probably, but for me, like, this is an accomplishment. I always say, like, I'm pretty sure I, I, I said it in my Should You Summon video, it's always a good idea to focus on what your account is lacking. So, it's like, for me, the reason I, I summoned on that guarantee, I mean, I did the guarantee on both, and I ended up with Harahime as well, but I was hoping for the assists. The reason I went there and I summoned is because I knew my account needed a water resist debuff and I'm talking rather than playing, I'm sorry. Um, I just want to make sure all of the skills are cool. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're not going to SA now. We need to save up uh, and just take advantage of the additional buffs. As you can see, Rivera is now hitting nearly, was that, was that nearly 800k? Uh, and this, this is the turn that's going to be terrifying. So. I'm going to stick with the Yasuga, even though it's going to drain a lot of my MP. I need to reapply additionals here. And wish me luck. Because if this goes entirely wrong, then this whole video needs to be re-recorded. And I really, really, really don't want to do that. Because I've still got other videos to record. Tonight. <laughs> um, let's do it. Wait for it. Alright, there's the hill and please RNG Jesus. Please, 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 please. Oh okay. Harihime might die here, but I'm going to risk it. Going going to risk it. Um and thank god she has enough MP to actually 
uh, use Yasuga again. Oh, wait, I nearly nearly messed that one up. Need to come here. Okay, we want to check his... Oh, my heart's racing. <laughs> um, check his debuffs. So the good thing is, if she dies, none of those debuffs disappear before the end of the run. So it it's not going to... Obviously, it's not ideal if she dies. We don't want that at all. But if she does... It's not the end. Come on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Someone heal! Heal everyone, you stupid fuck! There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, all of you Hurry Me fans out there that just heard me say that. But that was such a tense moment for me. Anyway, so we're now gonna just SA with Riveria twice. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's. Um, this is uh, how much base damage she does without the additional twenty percent. So we're probably looking at about one point seven million if she crits, and that's the that's the trouble. Like there is still an RNG component there. Like we need her to crit. If she doesn't crit, then it throws off the whole calculation. There we go. One point seven. 5 million and we have to if, even if she misses one more crit it could potentially cost me a significant like if you actually sit down and work out um how everything is calculated like in terms of your score one sa not critting can cost you millions on your score and that's just something i I haven't had the, in fact, I've not had a perfect run yet, not even with this team. So if everyone survives and she crits this SA, this will be my first run where no one has died. Please crit, please crit. Do it for the content. Yes! <laughs> Don't die now. And the final score. Please beat my final score. What's my total score? I knew it. Okay, yeah. So basically all of the runs. Okay, this is a perfect example. Basically before this, her not critting or someone dying meant that I couldn't score above 300 million. Anyway, guys, I understand that it's hard to follow along with these videos if your account isn't as um, far along in, in progression as other people or, you know, you're not aware or anything like that. Uh, so the point here is try to emulate the team. So I've explained what my what the units do in the team. If you can find units that do something similar on your account, use them. If you still can't do it, lower the difficulty. This is a difficulty six, and there's nothing to say if you're a newer player or you have a fresher account uh, that it's not okay to do this on difficulty two or three or, or four or whatever. But anyway, guys, I hope that helps. I hope you like it. Make sure to drop a like if you do. Subscribe if you're not. Social media links in the description. And as always, guys, I love you and I'll catch you later.